Hey guys. What are you doing today? Making cupcakes. Oh, you're making cupcakes. Yeah. Okay. Share mommy and daddy. Okay. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are back with a fun collaboration that we're doing with Sherilyn, aka Shell, from Adventure Kids. And I really hope I'm not pronouncing her name wrong. Shell, girlfriend, if I'm pronouncing her name wrong, I'm sorry. So please do go ahead and check out Shell's channel. Like I said, it's called Adventure Kids. I'm gonna leave the link in the description box down below. So go ahead and check it out. But anyway, um, today we're doing a fun collaboration with our little ones. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and make a very, very super easy recipe. It actually calls for four ingredients, but, we, but because I don't have the main one, I'm gonna add on another ingredient to this recipe. So we're gonna be going ahead and actually making a fruit or cocktail pudding slash cake. I don't know if that makes sense. And I'm gonna be joined here by this little cutie bear, my cave as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So for this recipe, all you need is cake flour or self-raising flour. It actually calls for self-raising flour, but because I don't have it, I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, cake flour. You need just one cup, a cup of sugar. I'm gonna use half a cup because I don't want it to be too sweet. You need a can of fruit cocktail, one tablespoon of baking powder, but if you use self-raising flour, you don't need baking powder, as well as a teaspoon of vanilla essence. I'm gonna go ahead and use two because I really, really like that vanilla kick in my cakes. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. This is pretty easy, pretty basic. So are you yes. ready to get baking? Yes. Yeah, okay, let's do it. So the first thing you wanna do is get your one cup of flour in your bowl as well as the sugar. I know what this is. Uh, what is this? Sugar. Sugar. How many cups of sugar do we need? Um, you need one. Yeah, I want one. Yeah, one cup of sugar. One cup of sugar. Yeah, but we're gonna need half. And then once you have your sugar in there, you want to go ahead and add your one teaspoon of baking powder and then mix them up together. While that is mixing up, be sure to open your can of cool, I'm using cool fruit cocktail in syrup and throw them all in there as well. The struggle is real. Okay, that's great. There's no need to drain the syrup off the fruit cocktail, so you want to use the syrup as well and then add on your vanilla essence. And then you just want to mix this until it's all combined. Just be sure not to over mix it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna give you now, on it. It mixes so quickly. Yeah, do you want to keep mixing for mommy? Go ahead. So when all your mixing is done, I'm gonna throw this in a well greased uh, pan. I'm gonna use this one because I really like the circle thingy in the middle. You don't have to necessarily use this one. You can actually go ahead and use just a normal 20 centimeters uh, pan. I swear I have to get this in here right now because Kiva is going cray cray. So you wanna throw? Help mommy throw this in here. baking with Kebe. She wants to eat everything way before it gets cooked and I can't imagine eating like um, baking powder being healthy. But anyway, this is what it looks like for now. I'm going to go ahead and pop this in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes or until it's just cooked through and it looks actually very nice and bright. Did you find the fruit? Thank you. So I'm going to pop this in the oven. You don't actually need to like make any frosting or anything. We're gonna have it with some ultra melt custard. So we're gonna go ahead and wait, like I said, 25 minutes to 30 minutes. Look at what's going on. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> also, please do go ahead and check out Shell's channel. I, like I said, the link is gonna be in the description box down below. Please give her a nice subscribe and like the video because this is a collaboration video, like I said, and I feel like I'm talking so much with my hands today. It's crazy. Um, give it a nice like and subscribe to her channel if you like her content. She does really, really nice uh, and interesting videos, especially for the little ones. They do like adventure stuff and thus adventure kits as the name of the channel. 
So go ahead and check that out, but we'll be back again in about 30 minutes or so to show you guys the final product. So the cake just came out of the oven. It's actually looking quite beautiful. It's not burnt. I think it cooked very perfect. And k -Bear got distracted and she's out playing outside with daddy. So I thought I should just go ahead and finish the video by myself. I'm just gonna go ahead and toss it over to this plate. And I'm not using like a container, sealed container, because I can promise you this is not gonna last even a night in this house. Probably by dinner, it's gonna be gone. But this is what it came out looking like from the oven. I thought it was just perfect. We hardly waited to try this and we enjoyed it like crazy. We had this with a side of ultra milk custard, like I said, and it was just amazing. You might want to add on some ice cream as well. It is just too delicious. Please go ahead and check out Shell's channel, Adventure Kids. The link is in the description box down below. Shell, thank you so much for this collaboration. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and we'll catch you guys later. Bye guys. Thank you.